Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4. And in this episode of our season as Stuart Friesen is number 52, Hallmark Chevrolet, we're going to be completing race 20, and that will be the Sugar Lands Shine 250 at Talladega Super Speedway. I got my Talladega Super Speedway hat on. Just going to put that backwards. Although it actually doesn't look too bad whenever I have it forwards because this lamp in front of my face makes sure that you can actually see it instead of getting shadowed by the hat. But still, I, it looks way better whenever you wear this hat backwards. I mean, look at me. Uh, uh, uh. I need to drop this ego through the floor. This is bad. Uh, last episode, we raced at uh, Las Vegas for the World of Westgate 200. And we finished in fourth place in that one. I was going to blow my right front tire again, finally. But then a caution came out and it didn't let me. So it ended under caution. But uh, the winner of that one was Dylan Lupton of all freaking people, and he's not in the playoffs, but we start the next round, this is the first race of the second round of the playoffs, uh, our next three races, and uh, it's Talladega, it's another super speedway, last time we raced at a super speedway was the first race of the season, the next era energy 250 at Daytona, and in that race I realized that we have a terribly un-aerodynamic truck, so I am scared, let's get out of here, I'm going to go qualify, last pace probably, and um, hopefully I don't lose all my damn playoff points in this race. Okay, I had to sit through a lot of that freaking crap. Um, they increased the tire pressure max to 60. It used to be 50. I, I doubt this is going to give me the ability to actually keep up with anybody despite having the draft or wherever I am, but... Josh is in first place. Uh, Todd Gillen's going to be starting in third. Matt Craft in fourth. Grant Enfinger eighth. So it looks like our playoff drivers are just really the best out of all the guys in there right now. Austin Hill, unfortunately, they don't make it to the next round, but he's going to be starting in tenth. I saw my insider starting in sixteenth, and we are going to be starting nineteenth, not last. So maybe the tire pressures did something, or maybe they didn't. Now, I didn't actually use these high tire pressure things when I went to Daytona. But, I mean, you just saw me put them in right there, so hopefully this actually means something. I mean, I kind of just wish I didn't need to do this. I wish it was like an equal playing field. I didn't have to do something to get a little bit of an advantage or just an extra handicap strength. Uh, Brett Moffitt starting in 21st. It looks like my, my playoff contenders just don't have good super speedway trucks. But we're going to get out of here, and we are going to start this race. Um, I was going to be 19th, and now I'm starting in 18th. I wanted to say that... This track looks a lot more like it did whenever I was there in reality than it did in NASCAR Heat 3. So this game just has more realism in so many places. Gustine failed technical inspection. Tyler Ingram didn't have a good practice session. And then they're talking about how Todd Gillen is getting a good start in this one. Okay, so from the outside of the Alfredo Sauce and behind Tyler, or Christian Eckes and um, Wyatt Snyder, Green Flag is out and run away here at Talladega. Yeah, this is, this is just so much more like what it looked like in reality. The sky and um, the lighting, everything. And I was having a hard time like remembering the names of the drivers. Freaking, I don't know why I call him Tyler Eckes or Eckes or whatever. His, na his first name is Christian. I don't even say his last name right because I just don't care. But um, there's just so many damn drivers in the series that are named Tyler. Okay, come on now. I mean, I know I raised the tire pressures, but I was in 19th, I was in 18th, and now... I, uh, damn it, hit Chastain. Well, I'm about to go freaking be in the top five. We're, we're four wide at Talladega. We're going four wide at Talladega. I'm going to join on the fun. I'm in between Matt Craft and Grant Enfinger, uh, my love birds, and Ross Chastain on the outside. I hit one of them because it's hard to fit my way in here, but it's, it's Talladega. You're supposed to be able to go four wide at Talladega. I mean, you're not supposed to go four wide, but you're supposed to be able to. Now, Daytona, that, that's a big no-no. You can barely go three wide there in this game. I remember uh, NASCAR 2001 whenever I came here. This track was like wide enough for damn six wide or something. I don't know why. I mean, the track just looked like that. I'm trying to drop to the bottom. We're just so fast. We got the draft. We're good and everything. Last I heard, there was a glitch with like the super speedway draft or something. But, I mean, if you, if you tell me that for this, I mean, I don't see a problem with this drafting shit at all. I would like to win the first stage. But that's going to take a huge run to pass Todd Gillen and Matt Crafton. Matt Crafton is run strong right now. I mean, he was just right there next to me. And I don't know. Come on. Trying to get a run here. Maybe side draft Crafton. Side Crafton. Side Crafton. 
Side draft and crafted. Side draft and crafted. Side draft and crafted. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Now, Josh, remember, remember me, Rumi. Uh, he is starting <laughs> in sixth for this stage. I mean, he was on the pole, so uh, not the best leader. I don't think anyone's really that good of a leader. I mean, I'll probably take the lead right here with a good restart, but they all pass me just because it's a super speedway and it's hard to keep the lead. And it's also hard to get it whenever you're running full speed. But, I mean, at a restart, I mean, I'm always good at moving forward to restarts. In NASCAR 3, some restarts were easy, and some of them, they were just kind of regular. They were balanced. In this game, it seems almost all the restarts were fast at. Hmm. Not that much of a problem leading the second stage. And they get runs, but they don't really take it anywhere. If I block, they just kind of stay in that line, and then nothing happens. Now, if they went three wide, maybe something would have happened, but there we go. We won the second stage of the race. That is one playoff point. And, uh... I'm going to have more worn tires than him, but I think I might lose positions if I don't take four tires. That's my guess. If I take a full tank of fuel like I need to, and no tires, and somehow lose positions, then I know we're all in the same strategy. We just have a pit crew that can't put a freaking tank of fuel in properly. I, I really hope that doesn't happen, because that would be sad if you can't just put the stupid thing in there. You can't just whoop, doop, doop. Uh, there you go. Get the fuel. Okay, we're still in the lead. Better be. God, I feel so ashamed to be playing a game if that happened. If I was playing a game where I took a pit stop and I only got fuel and I lost positions, and it's like it, it, a big fat what? But the Matt Crafton just freaking shot towards the outside wall. I mean, I don't know. dude, you you just give up. You just give up. Okay. Really? Why, why was I able to predict that? Why is my right front tire at 35%? Whenever I finished the first stage, it was, uh, like, 97 or some shit. And they're all pitting. We should have enough fuel to go two laps. I and mean, we have enough to go three right now. And I, if I pit, then I, I probably wind up losing positions because I don't know exactly what to do. Um, I'm not going to pit. I think my right front tire should be able to make it two laps. It just made it through all those laps. Okay, then. And yeah, Matt Crafton, he's still six, but he just freaking. You know, like, I don't feel like being in second place anymore. Uh, whatever, you know. Maybe he knew there'd be a caution, and he wanted to use the other trucks to so get a massive run and pass him. See, if they all got fresh tires, and I stayed out because I didn't want to lose track position by some chance, then they could be way, way faster than me right now. Maybe I don't know. And then again, I am taking off like crazy at this restart, so I don't know what that's going to happen. Here we come across the front straightaway. White flag is out. Todd Gillen, you're, you're, no, you're not. I mean, they came back on me. They're trying to do things. Uh, I went down to one lap on fuel, and I'm guessing he did that like right at or after the start finish line, so I think we're going to make it. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, the right front tire is really hanging on. It's not wearing down too much. I got one more turn, and I don't think it's going to go down 20%. 26% in one turn. I see Matt Crafton back, back there. He's uh, made up a few positions. Um, these guys are doing things they weren't doing a while ago. They're going middle lane, bottom lane, and trying all kinds of places. But they, they are not getting around me. We're going to win this race. This is not going to be like Texas. I'm not going to run out of gas and have people pass me just before the start finish line. Todd Gillen over here, I think that's Todd Gillen, isn't it? Mobile One Truck. Yeah. All over the damn place. Todd Gillen, yet again with a great run. My freaking driver almost slams into the outside wall. But finally, win another race. I would do a don't uh, burnout. Uh, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Never mind. We're not going to do any donuts. Talladega, Tala donuts. Dang it. Here we are in victory lane. The regular generic trophy. My beautiful Chevy truck. I love the way that the Chevys look this season. All the confetti and all my my crew, some with glasses, some with hats, some with glasses and hats. And then you got the, the hot, gorgeous Stuart Friesen. Okay, let's get out of here. Take a look at them race results. Uh, yeah, Todd Gilland won a stage, and I won a stage, and I won the race. Uh, Myatt Snyder finished fourth. That is fantastic. And Oswayne Self, I never see him finishing up front, so glad to see something like that again. Matt Crafton with a really good run. We'll see Matt Crafton in the Final Four. That is great. But, man, drivers that we usually see finishing well in the playoffs and that, that 
I guess need to just for consistency purposes. They didn't. I mean, Ross Chastain, he got 10th. So, I mean, that's nice. Grandfinger, he finished 12th. What about uh, Brett Moffitt? Oh, my goodness. Moffitt. 24th. Because he drives a 24 truck. That's a... This is not a good time to be doing that, man. Uh, who else is in the playoffs? Because I don't know who else I need to be taking a look at in here. Um, do, do, uh, there's yeah, Johnny Sauter finishing 23rd. Oh my goodness, this is this is terrible. And Austin Hill, I mean, he was running up front at one point. I don't know how he managed to finish all the way back there. That sucks. And we had someone who got DNF, Mason Massey or Macy, whatever. And freaking Travis Quapple's just terrible in this game. I hate it. Here are the playoff points right now. We are locked in, of course. So, if I had won that race, things would still be interesting because, you know, okay, well, what if I have a bad race and then I wind up not making the Final Four or some crap? But, nope. We're going to be battling for the championship. Uh, last time we were battling for a championship in the Truck Series, Stuart Friesen won me the championship. So, maybe Stuart Friesen can win me the championship again. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the stupidest crap in NASCAR 3 I, I blessed him for that. I was like, I had to do it. Uh, NASCAR for a championship with the guy that won me the championship last time. But, um, yeah, Matt Crafton, good points day, and Brett Moffitt is just four points above the cut line. I said it before we did this race that Brett Moffitt, you could see him in the Final Four, and now that's questionable. Grandfinger, I mean, he had a decent run, but uh, he's below the cut line with Ross Chastain. I was hoping Harrison Burton would be the odd one out, and we'd see Matt Crafton, Brett Moffitt, and uh, either Ross Chastain or Grandfinger. I think I'd honestly prefer Ross Chastain. I just I don't like how this looks right now, but at least two of the drivers I want to be in there are in there, Crafton and Moffitt. Or maybe I should say three, because obviously I want myself in there. But next up, we're going to Martinsville for the Texas Roadhouse 200. <sighs> Why couldn't the Texas Roadhouse 200 be at fucking Texas? I mean, duh. Maybe Alpha Energy Solutions has something to do with this. I don't know. But still, I, Texas Roadhouse. What? I don't understand. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.